Meg is so excited that we're going to Catalina on a wave runner. All the way there, all the way back. Jet Ski to Catalina, Long Beach, California. It is a company that offers wave runner tours to Catalina Island and back. And we decided to go on a summer's day. That was a beautiful day. We chose a great day on the end of the summer. Adam says if I'm good, he won't beat me to the shark. Lots of sharks out here. A summer's day. The marine layer is not even here. The sun is blazing down. The water is literally calm. Water. She's queen, all right. Queen Mary. Queen Megan. Yeah, uh, Queen Megan wants to go on the Queen Mary. About to begin our journey across this channel. Hi, Mom and Aunt Karen and all my family. This might be my last message to you guys. Love you so much. We had our first fatality of the day. Not fatality, sorry. He just fell off his ski. He was being a little crazy and decided to fall. But we're out almost outside the channel here. After getting out of the bay, we rallied at a buoy marker. Here we made sure we had everyone before leaving across the channel. Yeah. Hello one bites the dust. Oh, look at that. Water feels great. I would like to see some fresh meat, some live meat. It does a lot to die. Megan, how you doing? How are your hands? Do you like the break? Yeah. Yeah. How'd you? What did you think of the dolphins? She liked the dolphins a whole lot. Yeah! Get the water. So real talk, Megan. How your hands feel? They really, really hurt. Her hands really, really hurt. So, uh, suggestions to people that come on this? Don't go with your really crazy husbands. Oh, don't go with your really crazy husbands. Now, if you guys are gonna come as couples, make sure if you have the money, go ahead and rent two skis. Yeah. It's gonna be a lot more comfortable just to hang on to the hand grips, probably, versus the husband or the back. Yeah, because when you show them, show them, this is what you're supposed to hold on. Hang on to the back grips, which are always on jet skis. Or you're supposed to hold on to this. And you have this on the wave runner, which is like, you know, riding a horse or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> so we had somebody that followed us from LA, and they're a little upset. So our guys told them to get lost. And it was like, trying to find the island, I don't know where it's at. It's like <laughs> kind of right in front of them, but uh, poor guy. Bless his heart, they just want to have some fun. Off we go into the bamboo. So we're getting close to the island. It is a gorgeous sight today. Another break time. Megan's eyes, make sure you wear wrap around glasses because your eyes are gonna get salt water. Or goggles. Goggles is what the, uh, the, the, the guys are wearing. about her makeup. Well, I shouldn't put it, it hurts your eyes. Don't put on eye makeup if you're gonna do this. No eye makeup when you're out on the water. Right. Some of you might laugh at that. Oh, look at the water. Right here. 
For those who are wondering what you can take, there are two compartments you can store items for in your trip. Up top, there's a small container for your cell phone and wallets. Right underneath, there is a bigger compartment where you can fit two 30 liter waterproof bags or water bottles. In your bags, I would suggest bringing extra clothes, towel, sunscreen, and anything else you may want to get into stores and restaurants on the island. I don't know if this compartment right here. No wetsuits needed in the summertime, so if you do come, it's nice to have enough wetsuit. And you're going to get soaked, by the way. Not a wave around the ocean. She well, said no you're going to get very wet, but I keep telling her we're on the ocean. The journey across the channel to Avalon is 30 miles one way. When the wind picks up, the waves become more treacherous. That's why it is smart to pick a calm, non-windy day. The channel depth between Catalina Island and Long Beach in the middle is 3,000 feet deep. Timing the waves and maintaining a specific speed for conditions on your ski is important for the trip. Standing up on the ski is usually easier because your legs will absorb the impact of the waves versus your back. As you all saw, the guides take plenty of breaks along the way. The best part of the trip is the journey itself. But some just want to kick back and enjoy the shores of Avalon and what it has to offer when they get there. We made it to Avalon. The journey across the channel. Super gorgeous day. Coming into the harbor, the guide assists you with getting to the mooring buoys. When you get to the buoys, the guides will tie your ski off and taxi you over to the dock. The Lobster Trap, one of the more well-known restaurants on the island, and the place to come for a lobster roll. For those of you who are gluten-free, they have buns for the lobster in different sizes to switch out for the fried foods. After an entire morning of being out on the water in the waves, having some good warm food hit the spot. Mm. The sandwich was delicious. When it is time to go, you will go back to the dock and they will ferry you over to your skis. Here you will pack up all of your equipment and make sure you are ready for the ride back across the channel. It is yellow. It is yellow. On the way back, you will pass the submarine tour they have in Avalon. Oh, 
Are you ready for what lies ahead? Out on that water behind us, holy smoke! It's a good day for a ski, I must say. It is wavy. Oh, get him! During the journey back to Long Beach, our conditions got windier and rougher on the water. We had to take more breaks to keep everyone together, which was good for those who were tired. The swells were five to six feet in height. I made sure to take advantage of every break we took. Getting out and floating oh, feels amazing. Good. Megan and I even switched for a short amount, and later we switched back. Way over there, you got the first marker for you right here. Megan's happy, we're back. <laughs> 